Hello and welcome to this My Theme Shop video tutorial. Thank you for choosing My Theme Shop as your WordPress theme provider and over the next couple of minutes I'm just going to show you how to add Google AdSense or any other ad code to your My Theme Shop theme. So let's get started straight away and head to your WordPress dashboard. I'm assuming at this point that you've already installed your theme. You can see I'm running the Spike theme but that doesn't matter, the process is the same regardless of what theme you're using. So if you now hover over Appearance and then click Theme Options this will take you to the My Theme Shop theme options panel and you can see here I have things like my logo and favicon set. If you scroll down and click on Ad Management, this will bring you to the section of the options panel that you can use to manage your adverts. And we're going to use this to insert your AdSense code or your other advert codes into your theme. So you can see down the left hand side here I have a list of all the different ad locations in the theme powered by the theme options panel. So there's the there's the ad slot below the header, the ad slot below the post title, and the ad slot below the post content. And for those two ad slots where they're showing on posts, you can choose whether to show the advert after X number of days. So for example, if you wanted the advert below the post title to show a week after the post is published, you would just put 7 in there. I'm going to leave that at naught though, which disables the feature. So we'll start with the below header ad. I've got my ad code already copied, um, but at this point you'll want to go to AdSense, buy sell ads, or what other custom ad code you're using, and copy and paste in the ad code. So I'm going to paste mine in there, and hit save. And if I now go over to my live site and hit refresh on that, then you can see this ad is showing up below the header, as we've selected the below header ad option. Just show you that there. So if we go to a post, and I want to add an ad just below the title, then it's the same process. Go back to the theme options panel. This time we're choosing the below post title ad space. Copy my ad code and paste it in. Hit save on that and then refresh and we'll see those changes reflected immediately. And now I have this advert showing up below the post title. And if I want to have an advert uh, below the post content, then it's the same process, just copy and paste your ad code in. And if you do want to get the advert to show up after an X number of days after the post is published, you just need to put in a number there. If you want more flexibility though, then there is another option available to you for selecting your ads. This involves using the WordPress widget system. So if we go to appearance and then widgets, this will load up the widget loading page. And here you can see that I have my sidebar widget area and all of the widgets I have here. So if I want to drop an advert into my sidebar, I can do this using the text widget. So I just need to drag and drop it where I want it and then paste in my ad code. So here you can see I have the text widget. I'm going to pop that at the top of my sidebar. I'm going to leave the title blank and just paste in my code and leave that box unticked, hit save. And if I go back to the post I was on just now, you'll see I've now got this ad showing up at the top of my site. If I want to move that around, I can just drag and drop. And because they're the WordPress widget system, you can just drag and drop them where you want it. And you can see that that is now second below the first widget. And that's all there is to it. Just use the text widget and paste in your ad code, leave the title out, and uh, don't tick the automatically add paragraphs box. Hit save when you're done, and that's all there is to it. So as you can see from that video tutorial, very easy to get your ads showing on your Mind Theme Shop powered theme. Um, but if you do have any queries, then do not hesitate to open a ticket in the support forum at community.mythemeshop.com, and a member of the support team will be more than happy to help you.